Hi guys and welcome to Cooking with Karma. Now this week it's all about finger snack food using chicken. On Monday I showed you how to make those really yummy chicken nuggets and today we're going to make some absolutely delicious chicken wings. Now again they're baked in the oven, they're not fried, but they are super crunchy, super delicious with that nice bit of spice. So really hope you like them. Let's get started and make some chicken wings. First up to coat our chicken wings we're going to add some flour into a bag. Add in the baking powder and pop in our chicken wings. Then we're just going to give that a really good shake and make sure all of those pieces are well coated. Then we're going to pop them onto a wire rack and into the fridge for about 30 minutes. While they're in the fridge to make our sauce into a pan we're going to add in the butter, the vinegar, the Tabasco sauce, some cayenne pepper, some garlic salt, some Worcestershire sauce, and your favorite hot sauce. Then we're just going to give that a good stir until everything is well combined and keep it on the heat until it's well heated through. With our wings now out of the fridge, we're going to give them a light coating with some olive oil on the skin side up first. Then we're going to pop them into the oven for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes we're going to turn the pieces over, then brush the other side with some olive oil. And back into the oven for another 5 to 7 minutes. Now for the last part of the cooking process we're going to baste them with that lovely sauce, covering the underside first. Then flipping them over and basting the main side. And back into the oven for another five to seven minutes until they're lovely and golden brown. Drizzle over any leftover sauce. And then you're ready to tuck in. Crispy and juicy with that nice touch of spice You'll find it hard to stop at just one wing. Oh my god, these are so good. Now the great thing about this too is you can really mix it up and have fun with your marinades. You can do something like a honey and soy or a ginger and garlic. It is completely up to you. But I really hope you give this one a go because it's absolutely delicious. Thanks again for joining me. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you all on Monday.